Okay, so today we're going to have a look at how I actually color, uh, not color, but uh, light my drawings. I actually put the light on a drawing. Uh, for this I use pretty much always the same technique. I, uh, I've actually act created a script uh, here, it's called Lighting Folder, that uh, helps me uh, just sets things up so that it's easier to get into the, the coloring. So I'm going to actually run this and show you what happens. So I've got a drawing here, just um, just for the, the sake of the example. I'm going to run this action. Um, so here we go, and I'm go back here, and I've got this now this new light folder here. So in this light folder, we got three layers. Um, there's a black background. This is the, the the layer that I'm going to paint, and this is the color of the, the source light. So just to show you how it works, I'm going to select the light. I'm going to select the the actual uh, transparency layer and um, I'm going to work in black and white uh, you can only work in black and white here so um, make sure that you got you got the your black and white here I'm going to use a basic brush and I'm going to start painting and you'll see what happened so here we go this is what happens if I start painting so you see it adds this orange colored light um, now I can, I can actually change the color of the light by double clicking here on this one. If I double click here uh, and change that color to let's say blue for example, and you can, as you can see uh, green changes the color of the, of the light. Um, so this, this is a bit intense maybe but um, if this is too intense I can go here and change the transparency of that layer. So if it's 100% it's going to be totally white. If it's uh, very little it's just going to be, um, you know I mean, you can see basically. So I'm going to keep it here, for example, 24%. And I'm going to do a simple uh, flat shaded uh, sh shading just quickly. I'm going to sketch that out. I'm not going to do anything clean, but just so that you get an idea of how it works. Okay, let's say I'll do this. to give you an idea of uh, how it works. There you go, you've got basic shading of the face here. Um, so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you exactly what these uh, layers are and how you can create them from scratch yourself. So I'm going to just uh, remove the whole thing and um, and start again. So I'm going to turn this one off. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it, uh, double click on that, call it light2. There we go. Um, inside this folder I'm going to create a um, solid color, just plain black. Uh, there you go. For black. There you go. I don't actually need uh, this transparency layer here, so I'm going to put that in the bin. I'm going to make this folder, the whole folder, this is, stays on this folder, I'm going to make it as a linear dodge add, basically just adds the light, whatever, to... So for the moment it's black, so nothing happens if I turn it off, nothing happens. I'm going to add um, a similar layer, I'm going to just actually duplicate that one, and I'm going to make this a white color. There you go. But uh, so this is the lighting actually. But um, obviously, I don't want it to be totally white. I'm gonna give it a um, transparency, uh, an alpha channel. So I'm gonna just for that, I'm just gonna hit here. This and that creates. So I don't, I don't want this to be all white. So I'm gonna fill it in with black. So there you go. Now it's all black. And if I start painting, it will be um, white like this. So I'm painting the the transparency uh, channel, obviously. Um, so um, now, how if I wanted to color to color this to, to give it a tint, what um, I would then create a new, yet another um, solid color. There you go. This time I'm going to give it um, a tint. So let's say blue, like this. Okay, and. I'm going to get rid of this transparency 
channel again, delete. And uh, I'm going to make this, uh, it's up to you, really. you can put overlay or color. And I think both works. And I'm going to use overlay. So it still looks white because uh, because this is totally white. Um, but if I made this slightly transparent, 50% transparent, you can start seeing the color. So as I, as I change the value, you can see uh, how it affects. So if I leave it 100%, uh, let's say white, um, OK. And I painted this not with just um, a full brush like this, but with something uh, slightly transparent. So uh, like this. And you can see. Uh, you can see how what it does. Um, so there you go. I'm gonna erase this, but that's it pretty much. So the the, the nice thing about this is that you can, for example, work uh, with this one with a low transparency of let's say 30 percent, thirty percent, and then you 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 start putting some uh, shading in there, and. Um, And let's say um, you wanted to uh, to add some more light to it, uh, but with different intensity. Um, you would um, you could create another duplicate that layer, just quite simply. Duplicate that layer like this. Um, um, I'm gonna just erase this one. Um, so it's totally black. All right, here we go. And then I could make this one, for example, 100%, and do something different here. Add some really sharp highlight, uh, you know, if I wanted to, basically. Um, so there you go. So that's that's the um, that's the way I do my colors, basically, um, using these folders. Um, so you can you can actually either recreate those folders yourself, or um, or uh, if you want, I'm going to. Um, save this um, this action and export it for um, my patrons on Patreon so if you're one of my patrons on Patreon you're gonna get this um, along with other rewards uh, but if you also want to just um, have it uh, buy on its own I'm actually going to put this uh, for sale on Gumroad um, so you can go over on my Gumroad um, account and uh, and actually purchase uh, this little script uh, if this helps um, I hope it helps uh, but you can just go ahead and make make your own if you want that's just as uh, just as easy uh, you'll find all the details all the links for for these uh, at the bottom <clears throat> uh, but there you go I'm just going to show you one one extra little thing if you wanted to create a second source of light I'm going to go back to this one let's say and um, <clears throat> if I'm you going to use the, the action script again uh, so run that script. So I'm going to create a, diff a second source of light. This time I would like it to be um, maybe a greenish color like this. And if I start painting, I, I can add so a different. It's a bit harsh. Uh, let's go with that. I, actually, less twenty percent. Go. And I start painting a light on the edge like this, for example. Just, just really quick, just so you get get the idea. That's um, that's how you could have um, several lights um, of different colors. There you go, and you can go ahead and paint um, paint the whole thing like that. There you go. I hope this was helpful. Uh, like the video if you if you like it, and uh, don't hesitate to become one of my uh, patrons if you want to know more. If you want more of these tutorials. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.